This video is sponsored by Refinitiv, a London stock exchange group business, powering financial markets around the world. Unilever's failed bid for GSK's consumer health unit leaves it vulnerable. Unilever Chief Executive Alan Jope has had a difficult week. After his £50 billion bid for GSK's consumer health unit was rejected and then leaked to the press last weekend, he's been on the defensive. On Monday, he set out a strategy of pivoting away from food and refreshment brands, which tend to have lower growth prospects, and into health and personal care. That was an attempt to persuade investors that the GSK unit was a good fit but shares fell 11% over two days. On Wednesday evening, he said he'd walk away. His shareholders are likely relieved that he didn't increase the offer and overpay. Yet the company lacks an obvious plan B. Investors may be reluctant to trust Joe with another large acquisition, and now he's stuck with a food portfolio he's clearly not happy with. The fumbled lunge raises the prospect of a breakup through splitting the company's £50 billion food and refreshment division, which includes brands like Hellman's and Pop Noodle. Job is set to flesh out his strategy at full year results next month and is likely to resist such a radical step, but an activist investor could soon force his hand.